All right, it's been five weeks since I've done the repair on this tire. I haven't aired any, put any air in it or anything, and it is still full of air. Uh, had several comments about how that's not going to last and what have you, but uh, you're going to have to replace the tire, and that may be true, but, you know, for four or five dollars, it's lasted a month, but it'll last all this season, and it saved quite a bit of money. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm, I've aired this one up oh, about a week and a half ago, and and it's 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 flat, and so uh, I'm going to do the same thing to it. I'm not going to buy another new tire. So anyway. Um, Let's uh, let's get this one off, and it needs to be greased anyway, and it needs to be repaired. So let's let's get this one off and try it, and see how it goes. Tire didn't have any air in it, just so you know. Before we start, let me get this thing off here, maybe. Alright. Love this thing, by the way. But anyway, I may do a the review on it before it's over with. Now yeah, let's see if we can get this tire off there because a lot of times they won't come off because they're they haven't never been off and they've never been greased. So you may have to do a little forcing to get them off. All right. Usually you can get in here and get back here and maybe do a little bit of prying. There we go. I'll kind of get that thing loosened up a little bit. Now let's see if we can get it on off there. It is almost off there. There we go. Now then. Sometimes that ain't no easy task. And it's all because it's so dry right here on the end. And it does have a keeper that's not. No, it doesn't have a keeper on this. I don't know if it does or not. No, it doesn't have a keeper. It's got a uh, flat side and a flat side. And this here has a flat side and a flat side. So it can only go on one way. But we want to get this good and greased up after we repair the tire. So let's go do this one the way we did the other one. All right, first thing I'm going to do is take this valve stem out. That's some, something somebody else commented on was this is not the valve stem. This is something else, but here in Texas, 
is the valve stem. <laughs> uh, the whole act, the the whole deal is a valve stem, I believe. But this is what we call that. Take the valve stem out. And I'm gonna see if I can get some of this stuff inside. inside as we can. Keeping in mind this thing is airing up a tire. that pressure off. Try to get us some more stuff in it. And this is what I don't like about this wood. Slimy is slime, that's for sure. That's about all of it. Valve stem back in. <laughs> it's just funny how some people can just uh, fixate on everything that's wrong versus, hey, that's a pretty good idea to take that little doohinky out so your air can escape. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Now then, oh, yeah, I'm going to put a little air in it, just so that the stuff that's in the, it's in the bottom now, but whenever it gets up here, whenever I flip it over, the air will push it out of the tire, so I want to air the tire up, now that we got all the stuff in it. <laughs> supposed to have but put about 14 pounds of pressure in it and we want to make sure all the stuff rolls around on the bottom for sure and now let it work on the other side hopefully it's rolled down by now hopefully it's enough to get down there make sure that it gets all the way up and even around here it could be leaking I don't believe it is but it could be I guess I could have looked and see before I did this tire but I figured it's probably about like the other tire it just weather rotted and this will fix our weather rot for a little while 
And nobody ever said this is a permanent fix. Because I don't like slime no more than anybody else. But, I don't even know how much that stuff is now, but a regular tuba slime, probably $4, $3 or $4, $5 maybe now with inflation. So. Alright. I think. Get plenty of rolling time, I believe. It's this kind of rolling that it don't get on the on the uh, mower. All right, I'm gonna say that that is enough. regular all-purpose cup grease and the easiest best way to grease something like this is with your finger because you can feel every everything you're doing Side, flat sides like straight up and down. Try to get that as close as I can on the outside here. There it is. If you got it straight, a little flat side will be on there. Here. All right. I'm not left handed. That's what I like about this. You can torque it down with it by hand. And now it's ready to go. Now we have two tires that's full. And I'll come back a month from now and update you on this one too. And I'll update you on both of them up now. We'll just see how long that uh, slime will last. All right. I guess that's it for now.